Hello world, Leon here, and this is how you import NFT textures into a game. So uh, I'm going to do this from scratch. This is an empty project. I installed the SDK, and under prefabs, ERC1155, there's a script called import NFT. So we'll get to that in a bit. So I'm going to right click, 3D object, cube. I'm going to scale up the cube a little bit, rotate it so you can see the different sides, and I'm going to drag the script into the cube. It's currently blank, but if I hit play, it'll import the skin from the blockchain onto this cube. There you go. So where's this image coming from? Well, it's coming from an existing marketplace right here. So let's open the script and kind of see how it's done. So the first step is to connect to this token. So we're using the chain, uh, which is Ethereum network, Rinkeby, it's currently on testnet. The contract, 3A8, contract or token address, 3A8, uh, token ID 5, token ID 5, and we do erc1155.uri. Now doing this will give you a URI with a bunch of metadata. So I printed this out so we can see. If you go back to the console, it's the first one, URI. If I copy this link, and I paste it in my browser, you can see it is a JSON, JSON object. Uh, there's a lot of fields, a name, description, image, etc. but we want specifically the image. So if I uh, go back to the code, I wanna get that image. So to do so, uh, I do data.image, um, and I define this response uh, up here. So I have response uh, string of image, Right, here's a uh, string image. You can also add name, description, etc. cetera um, in this class as well. Now that I have uh, the image, I can get the image URI. I'm gonna print this out here, image URI. If I copy this, paste it in my browser, you will see it is the image. Great, so now that I have the image, I can display it on the game object. So which is uh, this last step here. So I'm fetching the uh, image URI, uh, targeting this game object, targeting the main texture, and displaying it on the game object. And uh, there we have it right here. Uh, and thank you.